Hello student, let's try to understand facial and meridional isomerism. So what is their facial isomerism student? If the ligands are in the face student, face of the octahedral complexes, then this is called facial isomerism. And if they are the midpoint student, ligands are the, uh, that is diagonal, that is called meridional. So let us see the slide student. When three identical ligands occupy one face of octahedron, the isomers is said to be facial or FAC. Our student, this is the ligand set here, CONS3 and NO2. So how can you draw the facial? So let us try, try to draw. Suppose this is the octahedral complex student. So we will make like that. This is octahedral complex. So if it is taking, similar one is taking the same phase, this is NH3, this is NH3 and this is NH3. So this will going to be facial, here is NO2, NO2 and NO2. So it is called to be in facial student, see, this is, this is taking the one phase and what about this one student, this is also taking the other phase. So they are the phase to phase student. That is why they are what called a student facial isomerism. If three ligands are same side student and other set of the ligands are also same side, so that is what is called a student facial isomerism. Right. So it's very simple student. Next one we are talking about meridional student. Meridional. So what is meridional? In facial isomers, in a uh, face isomers any two identical ligands are adjacent, adjacent to each other so they are adjacent to each other now let us try to understand when three ligands and the metal are in one plane keep in mind when three ligands and metals are in one plane the isomer is said to be meridional or mer it contain both trans and cis pair hence it is also considered a combination of cis trans this is appear to be cis student now see the same one compound how we are going to make this is the cobalt this is and here this is so student here is the c this is the nh3 right and this is the nh3 and here is also going to be nh3 so what you are going to find here they are the what they are on the diagonal they are in the two ligands and they are the same plane na? this is appearing so this is what mirror this is midpoint midpoint diagonal so that is called meridional now you see the another one another set what is there another set student we are having the no2 this is no2 this is no2 and here is no2 now you make it These are their students, this point here. So you will find that is it is also going through the midpoint student. Can you see this is the meridional? This is the so if the two ligands and the central metal are in the same plane, it is going to be what student going to be meridional. Here you see student, these are the what are these are the meridional because you see these are the ligands are occupying the midpoint student this is what is called meridional here you see so this is the cis form this one you can see another set will also be like that here you will find this one so this is the face now this is finding with the face so this is what is called facial student, the same complex. If the three ligands occupy the face of other three ligands in the octahedral complex, then this is called the facial. Now another set you see, this is, what is? This is point finding the diagonal, so that is called meridional. The NO2 here, this is NO2, 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 so and the rest one this is. Another you see this students and we have to see if you are making this one this one so how 
you can make this one this is the meridional student right so facial and meridional isomerism i hope it will be clear is to if three ligands are face to face three three ligands are face to face then it is the facial and if the ligands are what is student diagonally they are present similar ligands are on diagonal that is called meridional thank you very much for watching students